What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. If you're watching this video, that means you're having problem installing MySQL. And usually this is not your fault because there's something else going on. So I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna try to walk, uh, you walk through the same problem that you're having. So we're gonna click on download. And we're gonna click on yes. And then we're gonna click on yes. And then this, make sure in this step you click no. And then you're gonna get to this page. And this is where the confusion is like, okay, that's not the same screen that, that uh, I showed you in the early, in the other video. And uh, some people try to install everything, which just becomes a nightmare. It's not how you fix it. The problem is we need to uninstall. You already have a connector, uh, it's called 8.0, and it will, it's, not, it's kinda like uh, stopping you from installing the server 5.7. And here's how we fix it. We just click on cancel and then click on yes. And we're going to right click all the way at the bottom um, under the start button. Just right click on it. Go to apps and features. And we're going to type one word MySQL. Whatever comes here, MySQL needs to be uninstalled. The first one, MySQL installer. Sometimes I see people have multiple versions of that. Make sure you uninstall them all. And the second one is MySQL 8.0. Again, make sure because anytime you see you have MySQL 8.0 and you try to install MySQL, it's going to force you to go to the 8.0. So make sure you uninstall that. And after you uninstall that, just type in MySQL again right here and make sure there's nothing. MySQL should be empty. After that, there's one more step that you need to do. Um, I told you it's tricky. Um, you need to type in at the bottom in the search bar uh, this PC or go to the folder options, or to the folders, my documents, whatever it is, and just click. And then we need to go, we'll need to go to this PC and then on the C drive, we need to type in one word, program data. One word, program data. After we come over here, we need to look for a folder called MySQL. Um, if you, I don't have it in this case, it uh, pretty much it looks like this. It's very important to come over here and do this step, by the way. It's called MySQL. And if you do have MySQL, I need you to try to click on it and delete it. Sometimes it won't even let you delete it. And the only way around it is to restart the computer. Uh, because you're now you're ready if you leave that folder there it's going to be confusion um, my mysql will crash you'll have so many problems so make sure you have no folder called mysql under program data once you finish that step now we can go back and install the second step i'm going to click on download and even even after we do that, there's another tricky. I don't know why they make it tricky because probably it's for free and, and they don't want it for free. It's always something. Make sure you click yes. So and make sure at this step again, click no. And then you should see this page. Now you can see the same page that we had up top. You're going to click on server only. Click on next. Now you might get this message. Uh, even though I, I did say there's nothing but it's okay I just click you can ignore it I told you if you if you deleted it uh, sometimes after you delete it you still get this warning but make sure if, if you already deleted it and you still get the warning don't worry about it just click next yes and then click on execute so now it's gonna download and it's gonna install after that but there's another problem they always try to make it trickier <laughs> After the, after the download and install, it should get, take you to the place where you create a password. And it will not do that. Check this out. When I click on next, and then click on next, and then click on next. Actually, it did in this case. It's funny. But anyway, if it does, I, I'm sure this is going to happen. If, if, if you clicked on next and next and uh, server, computer, and it gets you to this page, then go ahead and finish. Just create a password. If not, what, what, what can you do? So I assume that uh, I've seen that too many times where I click on next and next and then finish. And I was like, what is going on here? What can you do if this ever happened to you? If, if it didn't give you the option to create a password, 
just close it and go to the search at the bottom click on my type in mysql and we need to go to the mysql installer just open that my so basically if you don't see that type in mysql installer and it should come in right here just click on open and click on yes make sure don't upgrade again and then it's gonna bring you right here which is cool we just all I have to do we're gonna click on reconfigure and it's gonna take us through the steps don't change anything right here click on next um, this step you need to click on server computer click on next and there's we or we can create the password And then uh, click on next and if you get this error that's fine just type a number next to it it doesn't matter and click on next and click on execute and then you should have no problems it should go through it just be patient with it and once you do that now you have a password and mysql is great it's it's running perfectly and just close this window right here now you can enter the password for vip shop menu um, that's it for today. I appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, thanks for watching.